Number 16. This is 1949 D. Roosevelt dime in MS-68 condition. According to Stax Bowers, beautifully toned from years spent in an original mint set holder, the obverse is particularly vivid in a blend of gold, blue, lavender, dove gray and hot pink colors. A lighter reverse does exhibit mottled olive gold highlights to a base of pale silver tinting. There is nary a distracting blemish in evidence, as one should demand at the upper reaches of superb gem quality. It was sold for $2,300. Number 15. Here is 2000 Lincoln Cent in superb gem condition. Graded as MS69 read by PCGS. Just one point prevents this gem from absolute numismatic perfection. MS70 is the highest grade available as for Sheldon coin grading scale. Virtually perfect in every way, this coin is fully lustrous with a razor-sharp strike to both sides. A low pop, condition census rarity for the advanced Lincoln Cent collector. It was sold for $2,990. Number 14. This is 1941 Washington Quarter in PR 68 plus condition. By 1941 prices for the proof sets of 1936 onward were already rising, and the market for these coins was well established. This led to annual increases in sales, as collectors began buying duplicate sets for speculative purposes. As always, many of the proof coins struck were not suitable for sale, and the reject rate ran to nearly 30% in 1941. A total of 21,625 coins was struck, but only 15,000 were delivered to the metals clerk for sale. The odd figure of 15,087 quarters appearing in reference books includes 87 coins destroyed in assays. This neatly preserved PR 68 plus gem ended up selling for $2,947.50 with buyer's fee on September 3, 2023. Number 13. This is 1929 S. Lincoln sent with repunched mint mark S over S. Graded in mint state 65 red by PCGS. Softly frosted in texture with even rose orange color, this coin presents expectably well for the assigned grade. A few trivial blemishes are easily overlooked, as is a bit of softness to the strike that is only really noted for the obverse. It was sold for $3,000.